Mendez makes a good point. Um, without you guys being involved, so why are you guys still involved in your wholesaling business? Um, he says the goal of a business is to eventually have running automatic without you being there and involved. Let me tell you, that is the hardest part of scaling your business is having yeah. people. You don't understand having people. I have an eight thousand square foot, twenty two employees across, not just in in that business, but across my real estate business, twenty two employees now. Now, if you think about that, that is hard to manage. So who who do you hire to manage that? Right. So yeah. when you when you do get to a point, you're you're gonna have to do all that and scale. It, it's hard. It's hard. Nas, why are you still in your business? Because it's hard to hire the right people. That hiring piece of getting the right people in the right places. And you love what you do. I definitely love what I do. I'm passionate about what I do. Like, I've been wanting to be an investor since I was 19. Everybody else wanted to be a rapper, and I I, I wanted to be an investor. I wanted to be a real estate investor. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, finding the right people is tough, man. It, it, it's that's that's especially in a wholesale business because, like we said earlier, like a wholesale business takes so much effort and work, and that's like it takes effort and work from every single person on the team, and and that makes it really difficult, man. It makes it hard to manage, um, you know. So it, it, it's one of those things. But I mean, guys like me and Nazar for sure. I know Max is the same way. When we've been down in North Carolina, hung out with Max, I mean, we love the deal, like the, the the art of the deal, being in the deal, talking to sellers, going to job sites, like it. we we love that part. So the pullback is harder to do because that's the part that you actually love and enjoy, right? Like when I dreamt of having a wholesale business or real estate investment business, the dream wasn't to sit around in like a suit and tell people what to do. I wore a suit to work today, by the way. I felt mad. <laughs> I've never seen you in a suit. Yeah. Mad uncomfortable. Actually, I have. I have. That we love. Yeah, I'm mad uncomfortable, but it was dope. Man, so it's like you got in this business to actually do the business, to be in the business. So, and, and I want to be clear, actually, too. A wholesale business is not a tangible asset. I can't call Max Maxwell up and say, hey, Max, would you like to buy my wholesale business? Because it, it needs me in the business to operate properly. That's every wholesale business, regardless if somebody says they're CEO, nobody's going to say, oh, well, yeah, I'll, I'll write you a check for a couple million dollars to buy your wholesale business. Wholesaling doesn't work that way. So wholesaling can be a business, but that's why we're saying that you need other components inside of your investment business, not just wholesaling, to make it a true business that's a tangible asset. So somebody asked, somebody asked what, what other things should they do in real estate besides wholesaling? Buy rental properties, please. I hope you are. Please. I made the mistake of not buying rentals for the first five years of my business, and it's my greatest mistake. And Nas, you you when when did you pick up your first rental, Nas? Oh wait, but I didn't buy I, I didn't buy enough. That was my regret, not buying enough. Oh eight, bro. You know what I was doing at 08? Uh, I didn't even say what I was doing. Yeah, don't even say it. Don't don't say it. Nas, how were you smart enough in 08 to know? Or was he dumb enough? Or was he ignorant enough to get into something that he just wanted to try? And that was probably That's his a risk. Good question, too. Hey, remember. Did you tell that story? That deal didn't go great. Nah, nah. 07. That deal 07. didn't go great. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. That was the flip I lost the money. But now 08, when I moved to Charlotte, I was just like, damn, this is cheap. But I didn't know about creative real estate. So being that I didn't know about creative real estate, what I did was I just went out and bought, um, I did everything the, the traditional way, realtor, loan and all that. And that's how I got my rent, my, my rental property. But I didn't, I didn't do it strategically. I just was doing it. Cause remember, since I was 19, my, my goal was I don't want to be a real estate investor. I want, so I just wanted to be involved with real estate.